So for today, we're going to be talking about the Assassin's Creed uh, Destiny 2 collab that just got announced. It looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. We're just going to skip this side because I don't play Assassin's Creed, even though I was tempted because a Shax and Saint 14 look dog made me really think about oh, maybe I should pick up Valhalla. We'll see. We'll see. I, I would still like to maybe pick it up. Maybe I'm not sure. But we're just going to look at this side because obviously this is the side we're more interested in as Destiny 2 players. So we can't really judge all of this armor too much. I'm going to be real with you and tell you right now that the Warlock Bond looks terrible <laughs> because it kind of reminds me of the Bond from the Fortnite uh, armor. So right off the bat, that Bond is just already disappointing me. Uh, one of the biggest disappointments for me as an OG uh, Assassin's Creed fan, because I used to be a fan, like, I think after Revelation, I dropped off. So it's essentially Ezio's Etsy, story. But my biggest disappointment is the fact that the Hunters did not get, like, a true Assassin's Creed skin. Now, don't get me wrong, I haven't played in forever, so I still want to see, or I want to wait and see until we get the armor itself so I can actually see and be like, oh, okay, I see what they were going for. But the fact that what it's what it looks like is the that the warlocks got the assassins look because the arms look very reminiscent of like the dagger uh thing that they used to have so if the warlocks ended up getting the assassins look i'm gonna be fucking mad because the hunter is we have one fucking job and that's like gaining intel and essentially being the rogue of the of the whole game and you're gonna give it to the fucking magic spot magic wizard assholes like that just makes no fucking sense i'm gonna reserve my judgment again because i we don't we don't we have we we haven't seen the full like armor hopefully in the twab they will show us so that way uh we can see and hopefully like i said uh the hunter will make more sense because right off the bat the hunter does not make sense to me at all if anything the helmet kind of reminds me of like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I hope is not the fucking case because like Spartan armor would have just been much better for the for the Titan. Like, let's be real, Spartan armor, Titan, that just makes more sense. So if the Hunters got the Spartan armor and the Warlocks got the Assassin's Creed armor or specifically the Assassin look, then I'm just going to I'm just going to throw my hands up and be like, I, I, bro, like, why does it look cool? Yeah, it definitely looks cool. It's just aesthetically doesn't make sense, especially if you're a, if you're an Assassin's Creed fan. You're just going to look at the at the Warlock and the Hunter and be like, y'all should be switched like, well, the Hunter should be switched with the Warlock. And then the it's like each class got like, OK. So Hunter should have gotten the Assassin's look. The Titans, although the the Viking look is super cool, should have gone to the Warlock and the Warlock or and then the Titans should have gone the Spartan look. I much prefer the Spart the Spartan look go to the Titan just because it makes the most sense. But with this, it's just kind of like, why even make an Assassin's Creed? Uh, I'm going to sound like a hater. I'm going to be real with you, but this is just kind of like my opinion. So like, if you don't agree, just let me know in the comments below. Be, be nice. Like, don't be an asshole about it. Because again, this is just more so like my first impressions. Obviously I'm going to, uh, hold my, my judgment even more. Cause I, man, I wanted to go in even harder, but again, I want to hold my judgment until I see all the armor and then can be like, okay, no, I, I see what they were trying to do. But again, from what it seems, hunters are getting Spartans. The Titans are getting Vikings and the warlocks are getting the assassins look which is again i personally don't agree with that i think they should have just like i explained the titans spartan look would have been fucking amazing you couldn't even you could have even kept a shield in the back for the spartans because that's kind of their shtick or put a spear back there like either way or a gladius i think it's called the ones that they use like it's just it is what it is i mean i don't know man i don't know an Ezio look for the hunters would have just been amazing i know it's been played out but like i would have loved an Ezio like hood and cloak with the like inspired destiny 2 Ezio look but then for the helmet you could have had like uh like a 
like a cloth helmet where you're just covering the face, but you still have the slits in the eyes. Kind of like that helmet right there for the time hunters, just like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is not gonna be too long of a video. I just wanted to explain to you guys my thoughts about it. And I mean, the other problem is, are we gonna get this armor next season? Or is the, like, if we get this armor next season, are we still getting the Eververse armor? Or is it getting pushed back again? Because if you guys don't know, the Fortnite armor was not the armor we were supposed to get this season. It was supposed to be the Ark armor. But they pushed it back. We were supposed to get it next season. Uh, unless they're they're just going to be like, we're just going to sell both armors. Or, God forbid, they're like, this is this is the store exclusive. We're not even going to sell it for Bright Dust. Which, uh, if they do that, I don't mind paying. Even though I've said in the past I don't want to do it. But I do have a job and I do I can't afford it. It's just, it's more about the principle of it. Like, I just don't want to pay for cosmetics. Even though a lot of people are like, it's just cosmetic. It doesn't matter. Even though we play a game that for me is about fashion. Like, I want to look cool. So, I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. I will have a Nezerak video, which I'm currently working on. I'm still waiting for Bungie to open their servers so that way I can get started on it because I already have the example sets done. And I should have that up by the end of this week, which means before Tuesday, because when Tuesday rolls around, I'm not going to be doing much exotic videos because, again, the new season is up when opening up. And I want to do a little bit more than I did this season, uh, specifically, like I didn't do the weapon videos, the views and whatnot, even though I had the footage. It's just I never really got around to making them. So I do want to go in a little bit more in depth because I used to do weapon uh, reviews and just reviews in general. So we are getting a new dungeon next season. So we are getting we are getting a good amount of armor if we get both of the uh, of, of the Assassin's Creed armor and the Ark inspired armor. If we do get those two armors, then we're getting like what the seasonal armor, the seasonal ornament armor the two eververse armors again assuming we get both of them in the same season and then the dungeon armor and then maybe some other rehashed armor here and there not e not even uh including like some of the zert armor that he might be reintroducing and iron banner as well and we all, we also don't even know if they're re or if they're bringing back armor from previous seasons in season 19 or just next seasons so next season is going to be stacked we're going to be doing a lot of reviews for armor and we're going to be doing a lot of example sets and thankfully we're going to have a lot more armor to fuck around with so you guys might see two or three more videos this week by me and then after that we're going to be working on new content so uh not only that my second channel is up and running if you guys want to see it, it's right here i should have it linked right now but essentially this is my second channel i will be doing other content that's not destiny 2 related if you guys want to check it out and support it, i'd really appreciate it but we're going to be playing other stuff like specifically i'm going to be playing kalisto protocol i'm going to be getting that once i get, get home from work today and most likely get start like start playing it the next day so like friday tomorrow i literally start playing like maybe maybe five to seven hours and then after that I just upload everything i have so if you guys want to check out other content that's not destiny 2 related i would very much appreciate it but be safe and i'll see y'all later